Which three natural resources are important to British Columbia's economy today? A. Forests, water and grain crops. B. Forests, fish and water. C. Fish, oil and water. D. Fish, oil and water. Answer. Forests, fish and water. What is the name of the Premier of British Columbia? A. Premier Gordon Campbell B. Premier Christy Clark C. Premier Nathan Cullen D. Premier Elizabeth May Answer. Premier Christy Clark How is the government formed after a federal election? A. The party with the most elected representatives becomes the party in power. The Queen chooses the Prime Minister from this party. B. The party with the most elected representatives becomes the party in power. The leader of this party becomes the Prime Minister. C. The Governor-General picks a party and a Prime Minister to run the government. D. Each province elects one representative to form the government. The Queen then chooses the Prime Minister. Answer. The party with the most elective representatives becomes the party in power. The leader of this party becomes the Prime Minister. How is the Prime Minister chosen? A. The Queen appoints the Prime Minister. B. The Governor-General with the Senate appoint the Prime Minister. C. The leader of the party with the most elective representatives becomes the Prime Minister. D. The MPs vote on the Prime Minister. Answer. The leader of the party with the most elected representatives becomes the Prime Minister. When must federal elections be held? A. About every four years. B. On the third Monday in October every four years following the most recent general election. C. Whenever the Prime Minister calls the election. D. When the MPs want a new Prime Minister. Answer. On the third Monday in October, every four years following the most recent general election. Name all the federal political parties in the House of Commons and their leaders. A. Conservative, Harper. NDP, Mulcair. Liberal, Trudeau. Bloc Québécois, Bolu. Green Party, May. B. Conservative, Harper. Green, May. Liberal, Ray. Bloc Québécois, Duceppe. C. NDP, Leighton. Green, May. Liberal, Ray. Bloc Québécois, Pele. D. Liberal, Ignatieff. Conservative, Harper. NDP, Turmel. Green, May. Answer. Conservative, Harper. NDP, Mulcair. Liberal, Trudeau. Bloc Québécois, Bolu. Green Party, May. Which party becomes the official opposition? A. The party with the second most MPs. B. The party receiving the least votes. C. Any independent candidate. D. The party the Prime Minister selects. Answer. The party with the second most MPs. What is the role of the opposition parties? A. To assist the Prime Minister. B. To sign bills. C. To oppose or try to improve government proposals. D. To put forward bills to be passed. Answer. To oppose or try to improve government proposals. Which party is the official opposition at the federal level? A. The New Democratic Party 
B. The Liberal Party. C. The Green Party. D. The Conservative Party. Answer. The New Democratic Party. What is the name of the Prime Minister of Canada and his, her, party? A. Bob Ray, Liberal Party. B. Stephen Harper, Conservative Party. C. Nicole Turamel, New Democratic Party. D. Christy Clark, Liberal Party. Answer. Stephen Harper, Conservative Party. What is a voter information card? A. Tells you who the candidates are in your electoral district. B. Tells you what province to vote in. C. A form that tells you when and where to vote. D. A form that lets you know your voting time. Answer. A form that tells you when and where to vote. Who has the right to run as a candidate in federal elections? A. Anyone. B. A Canadian citizen who is 16 years old. C. Any man who is at least 18 years old. D. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. Answer. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. Who do Canadians vote for in a federal election? A. The best speaker running in the election. B. A candidate they want to represent them in Parliament. C. Someone to become the Premier. D. All of the candidates in their electoral district. Answer. A candidate they want to represent them in Parliament. Which federal political party is in power? A. Green Party B. New Democratic Party C. Liberal Party D. Conservative Party Answer. Conservative Party How are senators chosen? A. By the Governor-General of Canada B. By the Premiers of all provinces C. Appointed by the Queen. D. Senators are appointed by the Governor-General on the advice of the Prime Minister. Answer. Senators are appointed by the Governor-General on the advice of the Prime Minister. What should you do if you do not receive a voter information card telling you when and where to vote? A. Go to the police station. B. Call your Member of Parliament. C. Assume you cannot vote. D. Call Elections Canada or visit their website. Answer. Call Elections Canada or visit their website. After a federal election, which party forms the new government? A. The party with the most elective representatives becomes the party in power. B. The Queen picks a party to run the government. C. The Governor-General proposes a law for elected officials to become the governing body. D. The Premiers of each province pick a party to run the government. Answer. The party with the most elective representatives becomes the party in power. Which of the following statements about residential schools is not true? A. The federal government placed many Aboriginal children in residential schools to educate and assimilate them into mainstream Canadian culture. B. The schools were poorly funded and inflicted hardship on the students. C. The schools were welcomed by the Aboriginal people. D. Aboriginal language and cultural practices were mostly prohibited. Answer. The schools were welcomed by the Aboriginal people. Who are the Quebecers? A. European settlers in the 1600s. B. Descendants of the French colonists. C. Descendants of the Anglophones. 
D. People of Quebec. Answer. People of Quebec. Who are the Acadians? A. Aboriginal people of the Arctic. B. French-speaking Catholics living in Ontario. C. The descendants of French colonists who began settling in what are now the Maritime Provinces in 1604. D. English-speaking refugees who settled in Louisiana. Answer. The descendants of French colonists who began settling in what are now the Maritime Provinces in 1604. What is the largest religious affiliation in Canada? A. Roman Catholic B. Muslim C. Jewish D. Hindu Answer. Roman Catholic Which act granted for the first time in Canada legislative assemblies elected by the people? A. The Constitutional Act of 1867 B. The Constitutional Act of 1791 C. The Constitutional Act of 1982 D. The Constitutional Act of 2010 Answer. The Constitutional Act of 1791 Which Act granted for the first time in Canada Legislative Assemblies elected by the people. A. The Constitutional Act of 1867. B. The Constitutional Act of 1791. C. The Constitutional Act of 1982. D. The Constitutional Act of 2010. Answer. The Constitutional Act of 1791. Who was Sir Sam Steele? A. A great frontier hero, mounted policeman and soldier of the Queen. B. A military leader of the Métis in the 19th century. C. The first Prime Minister of Canada. D. The father of Manitoba. Answer. A great frontier hero, mounted policeman and soldier of the Queen. Who had played an important part in building the Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR? A. American Railroad Engineers B. Acadian Railroad Workers C. Chinese Railroad Workers D. Afro-American Slaves Answer. Chinese Railroad Workers who was the first leader of a responsible government in the Canadas in 1849? A. Sir John A. Macdonald B. Robert Baldwin C. Louis Riel D. Sir Louis Hippolyte La Fontaine Answer. Sir Louis Hippolyte La Fontaine What is the head tax? A race-based entry fee charged for Chinese entering Canada B. Fee charged for anyone entering Canada C. A tax imposed on beer beginning in 1867 D. A fee charged for moving westward in the early 1900s Answer. Race-based entry fee charged for Chinese entering Canada who is General Sir Arthur Curry? A. A military leader of the Métis in the 19th century. B. A great frontier hero. C. An explorer of Western Canada. D. Canada's greatest soldier in the First World War. Answer. Canada's greatest soldier in the First World War. Approximately how many Canadians served in the First World War? A. 7,000 B. 8 million C. About 60,000 D. More than 600,000 Answer. More than 600,000 
What was the women's suffrage movement? A. The effort by women to achieve the right to vote. B. The effort by women to participate in military service. C. An unsuccessful movement to get husbands to do housework. D. The effort by women to be in Parliament. Answer. The effort by women to achieve the right to vote. When is Remembrance Day celebrated? A. July the 1st B. October the 1st C. November the 11th D. December 25th Answer. November the 11th In the 1960s, Quebec experienced an era of rapid change. What is this called? A. The West Movement B. The Revolution C. The Quiet Revolution D. La Francophonie Answer. The Quiet Revolution What is Canada's national winter sport? A. Golf in Florida B. Nordic skiing C. Lacrosse D. Hockey Answer. Hockey. How many Canadians have been awarded the Victoria Cross, VC, the highest honour available to Canadians? A. 56 B. 96 C. 1024 D. 42 Answer. 96 what is meant by the equality of women and men? A. Men and women are equal under the law. B. Men and women must both do the housework. C. Women may now go to school and enter the professional workforce. D. A woman may now become Prime Minister. Answer. Men and women are equal under the law. Who are the founding peoples of Canada? A. Métis, French and British B. Aboriginal, Métis and British C. Inuit, Aboriginal and British D. Aboriginal, French and British Answer. Aboriginal, French and British what does the word Inuit mean? Eskimo in Inuktitut language. B. Home in English. C. The people in the Inuktitut language. D. The Arctic land in the Inuktitut language. Answer. The people in the Inuktitut language. Which of the following is not a feature of Canada's system of government? A. A federal state. B. Parliamentary democracy. C. Constitutional monarchy. D. Dictatorship. Answer. Dictatorship. Who have major responsibilities on First Nation reserves? A. Band chiefs and councillors. B. Municipal governments. C. Provincial and territorial governments. D. Federal government. Answer. Band chiefs and councillors. What percentage of Aboriginal people are First Nations? A. 30%. B. 6%. C. 50% D 65% Answer 65% What did the Canadian Pacific Railway symbolize? A Easy access to the West Coast B What can be achieved by working together? C Unity D Ribbons of Steel Answer Unity what does it mean to say Canada is a constitutional monarchy? 
A. The sovereign, king or queen, is the lawmaker of Canada. B. Canada's head of state is the hereditary sovereign, queen or king, who reigns in accordance with the Constitution. C. The sovereign, queen or king, represents Canadians in Parliament. D. The sovereign, queen or king, approves bills before becoming law. Answer. Canada's head of state is the hereditary sovereign, queen or king, who reigns in accordance with the Constitution. What is the highest military honour a Canadian can receive? A. Purple Cross B. Badge of Courage C. Order of Merit D. Victoria Cross Answer. Victoria Cross In Canada, are you obliged to tell others how you voted? A. If the Lieutenant Governor asks, yes. B. No, but you may choose to discuss how you voted with others. C. If your Member of Parliament asks, yes. D. If your family would like to know how you voted, yes. Answer. No but you may choose to discuss how you voted with others. Who was Sir Louis Hippolyte La Fontaine? A. A champion of democracy and Aboriginal rights. B. A champion of democracy and French language rights and the first leader of a responsible government in the Canadas. C. The first head of state. D. The first French-speaking Prime Minister. Answer. A champion of democracy and French language rights and the first leader of a responsible government in the Canadas. What does the term responsible government mean? A. Each person in each electoral district is responsible for voting. B. The Governor-General is responsible for the actions of the Prime Minister. C. The Ministers of the Crown must have the support of a majority of the elected representatives in order to govern. D. All Canadians are responsible for each other. Answer. The Ministers of the Crown must have the support of a majority of the elected representatives in order to govern. In Canada, are you allowed to question the police about their service or conduct? A. No, police service and conduct is not open to discussion with Canadians. B. Yes, you can question their service but not their conduct. C. Yes, you can question their conduct but not their service. D. Yes, if you feel the need to. Answer. Yes, if you feel the need to. Which three countries are signatories to NAFTA? A. Canada, the United Kingdom and the United States. B. Canada, the United States and Japan. C. Canada, Mexico and the United States. D. Canada, Denmark and Andorra. Answer. Canada, Mexico and the United States. What was the significance of the June 6, 1944 invasion of Normandy? A. It led to the establishment of the Juno Awards. B. It liberated North Africa from Nazi occupation. C. Canadians made a significant contribution to the defeat of Nazism and fascism in Europe during the Second World War. D. It resulted in the forcible relocation of Canadians of Japanese origin. Answer. Canadians made a significant contribution to the defeat of Nazism and fascism in Europe during the Second World War. Fatima is a new immigrant in Canada. What law allows her to take up a job at par with a man? A. Equality of women and men. B. Equality of all races. C. Equal pay for equal work. D. Equal rights.
Answer. Equality of women and men. What is the Queen's representative in the territories called? A. Premier. B. Governor General. C. Commissioner. D. Member of Parliament. Answer. Commissioner. A Member of Parliament from Montreal announces that she will spend her weekend in her electoral district. This means she would be A. In her office on Parliament Hill B. Visiting the province of Quebec C. In some part of Montreal where she was elected D. Going on a vacation Answer. In some part of Montreal where she was elected what is the Queen's representative in the territories called? A. Premier B. Governor-General C. Commissioner D. Member of Parliament Answer. Commissioner How is a Cabinet Minister chosen? A. By the Queen B. By the voters C by other cabinet ministers D by the prime minister answer by the prime minister the canadian coat of arms and motto is amare usc ad mare this means a from the ocean to the sea b from sea to sea c from the sea to the ends of the earth d from the water to the earth. Answer. From sea to sea. Canada has three territories. How many provinces? A. 13. B. 10. C. 3. D. 5. Answer. 10. Why is the Battle of Vinnie Ridge important? A. It was a key position of the German line in northern France. B. Canadian Corps secured its reputation for valour and bravery. C. It was the hinge of the German line as it protected the newly constructed Hindenburg line. D. Once Canadians fought at Vimy, they knew they would be heading home. Answer. Canadian Corps secured its reputation for valour and bravery. What is a majority government? A. When the party in power holds about one-third of the seats in the House of Commons. B. When the party in power holds about one-quarter of the seats in the House of Commons. C. When the party in power holds at least half of the seats in the Senate. D. When the party in power holds at least half of the seats in the House of Commons. Answer. When the party in power holds at least half of the seats in the House of Commons. Which province is the main producer of pulp and paper and hydroelectricity? A. Quebec B. Ontario C. British Columbia D. Manitoba Answer. Quebec who is the leader of the Federal Official Opposition Party? A. Thomas Mulcair B. Stephen Dion C. Bob Ray D. Adrian Dix Answer. Thomas Mulcair Why is trade with other countries important to Canada? A. It enhances our standard of living B. It makes it easier for us to travel to foreign countries. C. It enhances our economy and raises our standard of living. D. It brings in cheaper goods. Answer. It enhances our economy and raises our standard of living. What is the name of the leader of the opposition in British Columbia? A. Jane Sturck. B. Adrian Dix C. John Horgan D. Christy Clark Answer. 
John Horgan. What is the name of the Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia? A. David Lamb. B. Stephen Point. C. Adrian Clarkson. D. Judith Guichon. Answer. Judith Guichon.